Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami from Cami's Craftiques. I'd like to start off this video by thanking all of you that have joined in any of my videos, who have subscribed to me, who have less, who have left me a comment, um, given me a thumbs up, and shared my video. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Cami. I'm a part-time reseller on the platforms of. Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and sometimes Depop. Um, I not so much really anymore Depop. I'm not putting anything else really out there because for some strange reason, I want to say in the past month, I have received 15 offers at least. And on Depop, if you accept the offer, the person still has 24 hours to decide if they, you know, want to make that purchase. So what I what I noticed that has been going on, I get an offer, and it's a decent offer every time. I accept that offer, and then nothing further. They don't buy it, nothing, nothing at all. So I haven't really been on, you know, listing much on Depop anymore. If you do sell on Depop, Please let me know if anything like that is happening, you know, to you. Also, I'd like to show off my shirt. This happens to be a thrifted shirt from the movie Hocus Pocus. It's a Disney shirt, and it says, I don't even know what it says. Come we fly, then Hocus Pocus. So that is my thrifted shirt. I got this... Months ago, Halloween was not even a thought in most people's minds, but I, when I saw the shirt, I picked it up. I was, like, super happy. One of my favorite movies. So, that's that. So, today's thrift haul is going to be a local thrift haul. It's one of my favorite thrift stores, and lately they've been doing a lot of 50% off men's and women's clothing, sometimes just women's, sometimes just men's, sometimes both. So when they have that sale, I I try to go to it. I, I'm always checking like that Facebook page. Every week I try to check that Facebook page because this store, I get some nice stuff out of this store. So anyway, everything I bought in this haul has been 50% off with the exception of the first thing I'm about to show you is these pair of Sam Elderman shoes. They are a size six. It says real fur dyed cow hair. Um, this is the bottom. Okay. Let me switch that around. That is what they look like. They're a flat mule, lightly padded. Um, I usually wear like a six and a half, seven. Let me see if these, for some reason, I thought I was able to get these on and walk comfortably. Um, yeah, my foot hangs over just a tad, so that's that. My foot looks huge, <laughs> but that's that. So do know that these can go definitely to someone who wears a six and a half. So I picked those up and I paid six dollars for these shoes which really to me a brand new pair of shoes is a great great deal I like them for sure so that was the first item that was a full priced item now all the clothing was 50% off um, so when it doesn't have a size a, a price tag it means the item was a dollar fifty. Let me push this out a little. Okay, so if it doesn't in this store, if it doesn't have a price tag, I got it for a dollar fifty. Regular price would be three dollars. So this is, and it's great for the fall. Uh, Sundance, and it's a size large. Usually when I put up Sundance. It sells. Sometimes not great condition and it'll still sell. This looks like it is brand new. 
It has some great colors. It has a three quarter length sleeve. It has elastic. It has like very little tiny rickrack and it has ties at the sleeves. So look at that sleeve. Let me do it from the front. That's the front. And that would be the back of the sleeve. And this is just like a cotton. It, it feels like so comfortable. Like walking around in your sheet. Like your bed sheet. So it does have the V-neck. It has the tie. It has light pleating. And it has great fall colors. So that's that. Okay. And it was in a great so uh, size also, large. Okay. So this was in the men's department. And this, I believe I paid a full $2, which that's fine. It's a Harley Davidson long sleeve men's t-shirt in a size 3X. So the back said Meredith... Harley Davidson of Tillman, Tillman, New Hampshire. So I don't know if you can see that. And then it has the Harley logo on the pocket. So two bucks for that. It it's not it, it has been worn a couple of times, but I feel like this shirt has a lot of life left in it. Okay, the next item, I believe I paid a dollar fifty for these are American Eagle and they're Airflex jeans. There's some distressing over here. And what size are they? Athletic fit. So they're a guy's jean and they're 32 by 32. So on these, they are definitely destroyed distress but if you look closely <clears throat> there is a dark darker denim fabric underneath so that's that and I figured for a dollar fifty I was gonna pick them up and see what happens with that I just started really selling jeans as you know those of you who watch my videos you, you know I've been doing the denim boxes. Today I actually sold, I think, my first pair of jeans from the denim box. Okay. So this haul is not really huge. I do believe there was some stuff that I put in for myself that, like, I picked up for myself. Um, okay. So this item is a worth. Brand new with tags, but they cut the price tag off. So I'm not sure how much retail this was, but I paid, it says $8, so I paid $4, and it's a size 14. So it's a purple cropped button-up blouse, and it has like a three-quarter length sleeve, but it has like the pleats. So, could you see? Yeah. So it makes it a little puffy. So that's the front. And that is the back. And I, I feel like I'm gonna definitely make more than $4 on it. That's for sure. I feel like I'll do my comps, but I think that was a pretty good pickup. I feel the shirt is very versatile. It'll go great with a pair of jeans. It would go great with a pair of gray, like, dress pants for the office. Or if you have to, like, do, like, a business casual or something. This shirt is definitely a versatile shirt. It would look great with a blazer over it. So, yeah. That tick, 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 you hear are my dogs. They're all running around. I have bamboo floors in here, and they are all just like chasing each other around. I do apologize 
but you know what? I love them, so this is what it is. Um, the next item, again, new with tags. This time, they left the original price. It's a sweater. It's optic white and ruby um, in Tarzia, Jersey color block pullover. Original price was $278. They were selling it for 10, but I got it for five. There is the tag. I think this is really cute. It's a very lightweight knit sweater. And it has the perfect fall color, like that fall color red, like that rusty red. It has the ribbing at the sleeve. And I just thought this was really a nice thin sweater where you could layer, or like if you live someplace warm, in a warm climate, you can, you know, actually wear a sweater without being overheated. Um, and it's a size large. So that is that. So again, $5, I got that for Sadie, it's okay. Those puppies are getting a little wild. Again, another new with tags on worth. Somebody just, I think, went through their worth closet. Original price was $198. Again, they were trying to get $10. I paid five for it. And it's just like a cobalt blue. Three quarter length, uh, I wanna say t-shirt kinda, of, but not really. It's, it, it's silky, it's made out of nylon, it's just very comfy, it has the elastic spandex stretch to it, and it is a size extra large. So that's something that could be, again, dressed up, dressed down. New with tags. Oh, this I absolutely loved. I don't think this was new with tags, but it's like a tie-dye. Yeah, it wasn't new with tags. It was, they originally wanted $8, which I think $8 still would have been a steal because it's in great shape. Uh, so I paid $4. It's soft surroundings, a large petite. And what it is, is like an open cardigan. Let me show you the back. The open cardigan with some fringe at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold it up a little bit. So there's the fringe and it's an open cardigan and it has like a tan, a white, a black. I'm kind of tempted to keep this for work. It has the rib sleeve. It looks like nobody ever really wore it. It feels like almost a sweatshirt material, but not really. Um, let me try to, there we go. So it's like that. I really like it. Oh, I just noticed this in the back too. The back detailing. It's like ribbed before the the fringe, and there's like little tiny uh, point holes. I forget what, it, there's a certain name for it. But that, and how much did I pay for that? They originally wanted eight, so I paid four. And this is what I'm saying, like, this is some nice stuff. And it, it's always like pretty much everything there is brand new. The rest of the stuff I'm going to go through real quick because I think this was all the stuff I wanted to keep for myself because, you know, that's <laughs> that's what I do. Um, this was just a plain Talbert's V-neck t-shirt, but what I liked about it was it had like a cotton cloth sleeve with embroidery on it, and it's like that burnout fabric if you look quite, like uh, close but that 
they wanted six dollars so i got three dollars for that so that's gonna go in my wardrobe and i'm trying to and it's like a floral embroidery on the sleeve so what i'm trying to do is like if i buy something for myself i'm trying to get rid of at least another item because i i have so much clothing it's unreal um the next item was a J. Jill, and this was $3. And this is just really a long sleeve, oversized shirt. <coughs> hey, it's okay, baby. And what I liked about it, it had like a little pleat in the back. And it's like not a form-fitting sleeve, it's a three-quarter loose sleeve. So I thought that I could wear like with work, I thought I had this vintage Halloween sweater that if we don't dress up at, at work, I figured I could wear something like this light enough, put the Halloween sweater on. I have a vest and a sweater, but um, I figured this would be a good choice because if I wear black pants and this, I could get away with even though it's like a t-shirt. The next item I bought for myself is, again, Talbot's. It's just your plain, how much did I pay for it? It said $5, so $2.50. This looked like brand new. It's just like your black basic tank top. I use these shirts all the time. I even wear them to work because if it gets hot, whatever, I wear these like under a open cardigan or like a blazer jacket. The last item is just a plain Ann Taylor black t-shirt and it has just like that little bit of spandex. It's a little oversized, which is great. So I'm sure in a video you'll be me seeing me wear this. I wear, I have so many black t-shirts, it's unreal, <coughs> but I love them. I'm sorry, so my dog is barking at the landscaper here. So, that is telling me I think I better wrap up this video. Again, that was my entire haul at that 50% off thrift store. That was my 50% thrift haul. So thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Keep thrifting.